What's going on, YouTube? So right before we begin, I want to thank my community on my Instagram page. Because of you guys and your input, I was able to put this video all together. And also for those people that don't know this, there's supposed to be a fifth car in my test. A fifth car, but uh, that car uh, flaked out pretty much. So now we have four cars, which is perfectly fine. Um, we have the Delkin, we got the Sony, we got the Angelbird, and we have the Sabrent. Now all four cars, they cost under 200 USD and all four cars are very different. So hopefully in this video, you guys get to pick what you guys like. But uh, yeah, let's take a look. The Delkin costs 175 and the Sony costs 200. The Angel Bird costs 180 and the Sabrin costs 200 USD. Now, the Delkin is 150 gigs. The Sony is 128 and the Angel Bird is 160 and the Sabrin is 512. Now, let's take a look at the actual weight. Now, this is not a big deal. This is just grams, but this is actually information that people should know just in case, just in case you're shipping things, I guess. But anyways, the Delkin is at 8.29 grams. Angel Bird is at 7.52 grams. The Sabrin is at 7.61 grams. And the Sony is 6.86 grams. So the Sony is the lightest car from the bunch and the heaviest is the Delkin. So yeah, that's, that's very interesting, right? Because you would think that the Sabrin might be the heaviest because they have twice the capacity or more than twice the capacity is a 512 gig car so there we go right now for this next test this is a temperature test and for those people that are in these groups and you're giving out like advices about how hot it is um no one really knows what that means unless you give out a number so in this test i was able to transfer a 113 gig file per cf express card and once the transfer is done i will pop it out and i'll do a temperature test and here is the results now, as you can see, the Sony car comes at the hottest uh, 130 Fahrenheit. This will definitely play into effect in my video portion. Uh, the second hottest card is the Sabrent at 115 Fahrenheit. And the third hottest card is the Delkin at 100 Fahrenheit. And the coolest car from the entire bunch, crazy enough, is the Angel Bird at 79 Fahrenheit. I don't know how Angel Bird did it, but I redid this test five times and the numbers came out more or less the same. So good job, Angel Bird. That is pretty good. Now for the next test, this is the AK24P and raw recording. If you own the Angel Bird or Delkin, you are dismissed. But if you own the Sony or Sabrent, you need to stay. This is what happens to your car at 24P AK and raw recording. Now for the Sony, at three minutes and 24 seconds, your Sony car gets so hot, as you saw before, you get the hot car warning sign. So that is not good. And that's also very questionable in the other Sony tough cars out there. So Sony shooters out there, if you think your camera is overheating because of the camera, or is it the car that's overheating your camera? Now for the Sabrent cars out there, I get a different warning sign. Instead of the hot car like the Sony, I get the recording interrupts at one minute and 29 seconds. So there we go. And now for the next test, this is the buffering test. Here is what the Sabrent sounds like. Here is what the Sony sounds like. Here's what the Delkin sounds like. And here is what the angel bird sounds like. Now you guys can clearly hear the difference, right? So let me show you guys the audio peaks with all four cards. As you can see, the Sabrin card, it buffers quickly than the Sony card. So the Sabrin card is the slowest card and also the peaks on the Sabrin is a lot wider than the Sony car, which means that the Sabrin is a lot slower than the Sony. And if you look at the Sony car versus the Delkin, the Delkin is way faster than the Sony car. And if you look at the Delkin versus the Angel Bird, well, it's very neck to neck, but if you look closely, definitely I would say that the Angel Bird is slightly faster than the Delkin by, by just a hair, just a hair. So there we go. It's just these big peaks that I see in the Delkin, but uh, definitely, I think it's just, I think more or less people will not notice that, but still I need to be critical in my test 
basically the Delkin is not the fastest. The Angel Bird is the fastest. The second fastest is the Delkin. The third fastest is the Sony and the fourth is the Sabre. So there we go. Now for the next test, we are going to measure the width of each car. This is a Delkin at 29.59 millimeters. Here is a Sabre car. It's about the same 29.5 millimeters. Now here's a Sony car is slightly wider at 29.64 millimeters and the Angel Bird is at 29.7 millimeters. And this is really important because for those people that have been following me on my Instagram, you guys saw what happened to my Angel Bird on my Nikon Z9. It got stuck on the second slot, right? It just got stuck. Here's the Sony card. Pops out just fine. Here's the Angel Bird. It's stuck. Angel Bird does not pop out. I need to strip it out. So that's the problem with the Angel Bird on the second slot. It just doesn't fit. And of course, I went online to check if anyone else had this problem and turns out it's a normal problem out there. People are stripping these cards out from their slots. It only happens on the second slot in your Nikon Z9. The first slot works just fine. So this just means that every single CF Express card slot seems to be slightly different sizes. And because of that, Angel Bird cards get stuck in there. So that's, that's not good on two parts. First part is you're stripping the Angel Bird car out, which means that the plastic is going to rip into pieces down the road. And those plastic pieces might get lodged into your CF Express car slot. Also, this means that any future cameras you plan to buy, your Angel Bird car may or may not fit in that CF Express car slot perfectly. It may just be like the Z9 where it just gets stuck and you need to strip it out. So in other words, Angel Bird needs to just make the car slightly less wide and they're good to go. So there we go, there we go. Hopefully I help Angel Bird out right there. But anyways, so just wrap things up. All four cards have their own pros and cons. So let's break it down. Now the first car is my Sony car and uh, you know, stats don't lie. This is the most expensive car from the bunch and it's the lowest capacity from the bunch. In my test, it is the hottest car from the bunch. Can I actually recommend this card? No, I can't. No, I can't. And because of this test, you may need to ask yourself every time you see a camera overheating, ask them, is it a Sony card? If it's this Sony card right here, this specific one, it's probably the card, not the camera. So there we go. There we go. Now for the Sabrin card at 200 USD, unlike the Sony card, this offers way more capacity than the bunch at 512 gigs. This is the slowest cars when it comes to buffering this is not for ak unless you know what unless you're doing like spurts of 10 second ak maybe maybe because ak is pretty big of a file but uh constant ak probably not a good idea but uh, the 512 gig is a it's a very nice touch to this car because if you don't need the buffering you don't need the ak you're fine with 4k and just normal shooting like uh portrait photographers that doesn't do too much fast moving action or you're shooting like stills or landscapes just you know very light shooting you're mostly composing a shot the saber might be the best bet from this entire bunch right there this might be the cheapest for the capacity storage, right? I think so. You know what? I think the Sabre might be the biggest sleeper right there. Also, a side note, yeah, this when this is on sale, the Sabre is 150 bucks on sale, but uh, yeah, 200 bucks is the normal pricing. So there we go. Now as for the Delkin, the Delkin is the cheapest car from the bunch. It's crazy. This is the cheapest car from the bunch. It has more capacity than the Sony car, and that's about, what, $25 more? And this car right here can do your 8K video recording. It can shoot crazy amount of frames per second. Actually, this is the second fastest car from this bunch right here. So you could do 8K 24. You could do your frames per second. You might be slightly a hair behind the Angel Bird, but, uh, but yeah, this is actually not the hottest car either. This came out like I think 100 Fahrenheit. So yes, this is actually a pretty cool card. This is probably the car I would recommend people to get at 175. So if you see this Delkin Black, definitely pick up the Delkin Black. That is probably the car I would recommend people to get. So there we go. Now, and of course, I kind of, the key word is kind of, I kind of saved the best for last, which is the Angel Bird card. The Angel Bird card is not the most expensive car from the list. It has more capacity than the Sony and the Delkin at 160 gigs. It is the coolest card in my test. The buffer is number one in my test. It beats out the Delkin, no problem. It could do AK24P and raw, no problem. But 
The biggest problem in this card is the physical feature of this card. You will experience resistance in your second slot in your Nikon Z9, and that's a big liability issue in my opinion. And so, what I read online is, initial users right now, they are bragging about this car, and rightfully so, it is the most fastest, coolest car on the market. However, long-term users, they're gonna meet their maker, you're gonna get your warranty, you're gonna send it in for a replacement because this car is known to fall into pieces, so there we go. But overall, at the end of the day, I was blown away by my test. I did not expect the results that I saw. I still can't believe that the Angel Bird was the most coolest car. I still can't believe my Sony car is the most hottest car. And yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. But, uh, but if I have to give people a recommendation, I would say if you need a lot of storage, you don't care about AK, you don't care about the buffering, get the Sabrin. 512 gigs for 200 bucks, that's a steal right there. So get the Sabrin. If you're looking for a performance car, get the Delkin. Just get the duck. Now, of course, a test like this is going to track other users that own different brand of CF Express car. I just want to let you guys know that I do have a list of other brands that I'm planning to test. And if you are one of those brands out there that want to get your CF Express car feature in my next test, definitely contact me. My links are down below. Um, but yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely click like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Take it easy. Peace.